chapter 6 verse 6 come let us return to the Lord he has torn us to pieces but he'll heal us he has injured us but he'll bind up our wounds after two days he will revive us on the third day he will restore us that we may live in his presence Hosea writing prophetically about what was going to become of the church he wrote about the injuries, the binding up of wounds, the reviving, and the restoration. Everything the Lord did had a meaning. There was nothing in the Bible without meaning. It was not to fill the Bible. Many things happened on a third day. Abraham in Genesis 22 verse 4 traveled for two days. And on the third day, he looked up and saw the place he was going to offer the sacrifice. Exodus 19 verse 10, the Bible says, Moses told the Israelites, Prepare yourself, and on a third day, you are going to meet God. And the Bible also tells us, Jonah stayed in the belly of fish for three days, and the third day he was vomited out. Jesus performed the first miracle at Cana of Galilee, on a third day Jesus rose from the dead on a third day when we were sinners we were injured we were bruised we were wounded and Jesus came to bind up our wound and to revive us and on a third day Jesus rose again to restore us to the presence of God The third day church is a church that will restore what the devil has taken or what the devil is about to take. When things are not going better, don't blame the politicians. The church has got the keys. Let me tell you church, you have the keys in your hands. You can change the situation by the name of Jesus. When there is a judgment in the nation, when people of God pray, God can relent. Where is the church that shares tears today? We have forgotten who we are. The keys are in your hands. You have the power now so to say, in the name of Jesus, you have no authority of our nation. <laughs> oh, the third day church is a church of restoration. To repair the broken walls, we are bigger than the devil. Because the one we carry in us is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ gave the devil a knockout. And he gave the power to the church. And the church is you and me. If 
each one of us wakes up and knows who he is, I believe the devil will pack up and go. A person of the third day church can stand and say, in the name of Jesus, I stand against you. Speak. You have no authority over this nation in the name of Jesus. When I'm talking about the church, it's you and me. We are the church of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I'm building my church and the gates of hell shall never prevail against. Let me tell you, you are the church of Jesus Christ. No power of the devil can destroy you. You can kick it off in Jesus' name. Oh, oh, oh. Listen. Oh, it's a spiritual battle. This battle can be won by the people who are in the spirit. People who are the study day church. They can say, Dela, you have no authority in the name of Jesus. Yeah. What did Hosea say? He said, so that we may live in his presence. The third day church is the church that lives in the presence of God. In other words, it is connected to the source. And when you are connected to the source, you speak the boldness. You may not be educated. You may not be rich. But you have a big God. <laughs> Hallelujah. This will be won when the church knows that we are the church which is in the presence of God. And this church has got power to lose and bind, to open and close. And the church can stand and say, now enough is enough, devil. You have no authority over this nation. Hallelujah. These are the days where every believer is time to be on your knees. Pray without ceasing. It's time for the church to see what is the priority at this time. Be on your knees. Pray for your nation. Pray for your leaders. Pray for politicians. Pray. Pray for your family. Pray for your children. Because you have the key for every solution stretch in your country and your life. Fear of God upon the church will bring the presence of God. And will bring the spirit of prayer. And this will change.